Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about how to balance chemical reactions. A chemical reaction is uh, basically represents with chemical equations. In chemical equations, we have some uh, compounds in the left side, which are called reactants, and we have some compounds in the right side, which are called products. And there's an arrow in between that shows the reactants uh, goes to our products. In also in the chemical equations, the states of each compound or element is written in the next right of the uh, next right of them, and this is abbreviation that is written next to them, and that's the state. So when you see the G in the parentheses in the right side of a compound, it means the gas. If you see L, a letter small L is liquid. If you a small S is solid and aqueous, which shows as a small AQ, it means we have a water solution and solvent is water basically in this uh, basically uh, a specific solution. Here you see a chemical equation. Uh, in this, this chemical equation, which I'm going to talk later about, is a combustion reaction. And in combustion reaction in here, you see that methane gas, which is a gas, you see in the parenthesis, this small g, which is a state is gas. Is uh, reacts reacts with oxygen and gives us carbon dioxide and water basically. As I said, is the combustion reaction, and always the product of combustion with with a organic compound, which always includes carbon hydrogen, is always carbon dioxide and water. So know that the product of a organic compound here for example CH4 with oxygen is always carbon dioxide and water. This reaction is balanced. What does it mean? It means that the same number of elements are in each side of the reaction or atom. For example if you look at carbon here I have only one carbon in the left side. And if you look at the right side of reaction, I have only one carbon in the right side of reaction. So there is one carbon in the left side and there is one carbon in the right side. So the carbons are the same. The number of carbons in the same is the same in the both sides. Look at hydrogens. I have four as a subscript of hydrogen. It means that I have four hydrogen in the left side. And when I look at the right side, I have two in front of these hydrogen or H2O, and I have two as a subscript of H2O. When I multiply these two in the subscript of two here of hydrogen, we, it says that is four hydrogen in the right side of reaction. So we have four hydrogen in the left side of reaction and four hydrogen in the right side of reaction. These two, which we, uh, you know, you see here in front of H2O, basically is called coefficient and belongs to both of these elements. So it multiplied to hydrogen and also multiplied to, to oxygen. So let's look at oxygen. I have two in front, which, and it multiplies to two as a subscript of oxygen on the left side, and I have four oxygen in the left side then, and I have two oxygen here, and two oxygen also here, because two multiplies to one oxygen here. So if you add two oxygen, and two oxygen here, it's four oxygen in the right side. So I have four oxygen in the left side, and four oxygen the right side. So
So we can say we have the same number of elements or same number of each element in the both side of reaction. This reaction is called the balanced reaction. Let's see how we can balance a chemical reaction. First, we, sh we should pay attention. We should write a correct skeletal equation by writing correct chemical formulas. How we find the chemical formulas, we should know how to use nomenclature or com how, how, I have some videos on uh, nomenclature videos, how to name molecular and chemical compounds and how to write the formulas of compounds. You need to use those to be able to write the correct chemical formula of the reactants and products. So if they give you the name of compound by using the formula, you should be able to write the formula of that name. If they already give you the formulas, you should just basically, uh, you have the formulas and you should go to the next step. If an element occurs in only one compound on both sides of the equation, you should balance it first. So if you have only one element in the left side and the same element only in one in the right side, you just start with that. Usually we should start with metals first. Okay, so if you have a metal in the chemical equation, we always start with balancing the metal. Then, if you don't have a metal, you start with non-metals, and oxygen and hydrogen always are balanced last. Make sure always recheck. Every time that you think that you are done, make sure you should have the same number of elements in the both sides of reaction. If you do not have the same number, you should continue until you have the same number of elements in the both sides. That's a really important hint, guys. You should not, you should not give up. If you think that, if you check the both sides and you do not have the same number of elements, even after you balance, you should again continue until you have the same number of elements in the both sides, okay? That's the important thing. Always continue to make sure you have the same number of elements in the both sides. You always need to change the coefficients. What, which ones were coefficients? The numbers in front of each element or each compound, each compound. So here I have H2O. So the only place I'm gonna put my number would be in front of it, in front of it, in front of O2, in front of H2. I will never ever try to put, I will never put, change the subscript here. I will never, why? Because if I change the subscript, the compound will be changed. I will not have a, the same compound if I change this subscript under each element. Also, never ever try to dissociate H2O and put these two here and then here between H and O. If you put, you will not have H2O anymore. Okay, you will break it. You know, it's like, you have water and try to break it to H hydrogen oxygen. Water is water, it has two hydrogen oxygen and you cannot just put the two between them, you know? So make sure these two that comes, it should be in front of this water, okay? In front, never ever put between the two elements. Never ever put between the two elements, only in front of the compounds, okay? 
So let's see how we should balance this reaction. We have here H2 plus O2 gives us H2. Let's see if it's balanced or not. I have two hydrogen here. So I'm going to put the element and how many of each element I have underneath the left side of reaction. So I have hydrogen two and I have oxygen two. Then I go to the right side. I have again hydrogen two because I have subscript two and I have one oxygen. So do you think it's balanced chemical reaction here? No, because number of oxygens are not the same. I have two oxygen in the left side and one oxygen in the right side. So it's not balanced. I should balance it. What I'm gonna do, I should multiply these numbers by a number to be the same in the both sides. For example, oxygen, so hydrogen is the same in the both sides. So for now, I will not gonna touch the hydrogen yet. I'm gonna go to oxygen because I have two oxygen in the left side and one oxygen in the right side. Then I'm going to multiply this by two and these two, where these two gonna go guys? What do you think? This two is called coefficient. We are gonna put it where? In front of the compound in front of H2O. These two belongs to hydrogen and also belongs to oxygen. So these two basically belongs to both of them. It's like uh, when a mother has two children, so it's a mom of two children, right? So he cannot say this, not, this is not a mom for the second children, right? is the mom for both of the children. So it's the same. These two belongs to both of these hydrogen and oxygen. This is the mom of the both of them. So it's gonna multiply by hydrogen. So you're gonna multiply it. And it's gonna multiply it by oxygen. I have one oxygen. So I have two oxygen now. And how many hydrogen? Four hydrogen, right? So I should multiply it by two, I have two because I made these to four. So let's see, okay, I have four hydrogen here and two oxygen, but I have two hydrogen in the left side. So I should also multiply it by two. So this way, I, I should put these two, which is the coefficient in front. So this is called this multiplication should go in front of the compound. This is gonna, gonna be used as a coefficient, okay? So let's recheck, right? In the number five, we should recheck. So let's see. I have four hydrogen in the left side, okay? I have four hydrogen in the right side. I have two oxygen in the left side and two, ox two oxygen in the left side and I have two oxygen in the right side. So I have a balanced chemical equation, okay? So don't forget to recheck. Okay guys, let's do another one. They give us this chemical reaction and I need to balance them. What should we do first? We should write each element in the both side of reaction and try to write each element, the number of each element in front of it, okay? How many sodium I have here, left side is one. How many chlorine I have? One. How many hydrogen? One. Oh, I have two. How many hydrogen? Two, because I have one hydrogen here and one hydrogen here. How many oxygen in the left side? One. So try to put the order like the metals first, right? We said that always uh, balance the metals first. Then non-metals and hydrogen and oxygen or any diatomic element will be last. Okay, so we are gonna put sodium first because it's metal. So let's just go with the order of, you know, you try to start to balance. Okay, let's see. Let's see 
we do the same. I have one sodium on the right side, one chlorine here, two hydrogen and one oxygen. So let's check. Okay, check if it's balanced or not. I have one sodium here, one sodium left right side, one chlorine left side, one chlorine right side, two hydrogen left side, two hydrogen right side, one oxygen left side, one oxygen right side. Okay, what we should conclude here, this is a balanced chemical reaction. So the first thing you're gonna do each time, make sure you check if you have the same number of elements in each side and check. If it's not balanced, you're gonna start to balance it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with oxygen in the right side, I multiply. So these two, where these two goes? In front of the compound, right? In the coefficient, as a coefficient in front. And these two multiply, it belongs to Mg and also belongs to, to oxygen. Multiplies by Mg is one Mg, is gonna be two Mg. So I'm gonna multiply by two and also two oxygen. So now let's check the left side. I have two oxygen, so it's matching with the two in the right side. Then, what about Mg is not balanced yet. So what I'm gonna do, then, I, this is the balanced equation in the, in the bottom, so it's balanced. So I have two Mg in the left side, I have two Mg in the right side, I have two oxygen here and I have two multiplies to one oxygen, I have two oxygen in the right side. Okay guys, you do not need, need really to show me how you got this. What I want you to only give me this equation in the final, in the last equation, two mg. So write the equation and then just put the coefficients in front of each uh, element or compound in here, okay? If it's an element, is in front of it. If it's a compound, it's again in front of the compound, okay? Never ever put these two between mg and o. If you put it, I will deduct point, okay? No, I'm just kidding, okay? So this two is only gonna be in front of the compound and belongs to mg and o. So it multiplies by one mg, I have two mg and it multiplies by one oxygen, it will be two oxygen. So you do not really need to show me the steps that you did. What I want is the coefficients at the end should be the correct coefficients in the chemical equation. Okay. Let's see, I'm gonna, we're gonna do uh, one more or uh, several more balanced equations. Okay, here I have another chemical equation. You must say, okay, wow, that's a really complicated one. But it's not, guys. So let me give you the trick here. So what I said first, metals are going to be first, then non-metals and hydrogen and oxygen last. So that's what I put as an order. Then I put the numbers underneath each side in front of elements. So aluminum is one, right? Then sulfate. Okay, let me give you a hint, guys. If you have a polyatomic ion, what polyatomic ion is this one, guys? Look at the polyatomic ion and tell me what type of polyatomic ion is this one? I mean, what's the name of this polyatomic ion? It's a sulfate, right? SO42 minus. And the right side also is sulfate, right? It's SO4, right? So when you have a polyatomic ion in the both side, the same, it, there is no change, right? It has the same coefficient. SO4 is sulfate. In here is also sulfate here, right? So I have, when you have this, you don't need to put each element, sulf, sulfurous one, like here, one sulfur, you're an oxygen four. Just 
put it as a unit, one unit. Imagine you have like a unit with an overall charge here, right? That's what is polyatomic ion. So I'm gonna just write it down here. I have one polyatomic ion, SO4 two minus, and I have also two hydrogen here. In the right side, I have two alumina. How many sulfate I have in the right side? Three, right? This subscript I told you is gonna be the number of the polyatomic ion. I have three sulfate and I have two hydrogen, right? So let's check. Is it balanced, guys? No, it's not because the sulfate is not balanced and also aluminum is not balanced, right? I put two for aluminum, then I have balanced aluminum, right? What about sulfate? Sulfate in the right is three, in the left is one. So I will also multiply it by three, but if I multiply this by three, this hydrogen also multiplies by three, right? Because this three is gonna come in front of this compound. So I should multiply also this by three. Then, because I have six hydrogen, this hydrogen also should be six, right? So the final equation, balance is two aluminum in the left side, two aluminum in the right side. This three multiplied by this sulfate, is three sulfate, here I have three sulfate, and I have six, this three multiplies by two hydrogen, six hydrogen, and I have in the right side six hydrogen. So I have a balanced chemical reaction here. So I check it, make sure we check each time. Okay. So let's do a combustion reaction. I have one carbon in the left side, one carbon in the right side, four hydrogen in the left side, but two hydrogen in the right side. So it's not balanced, right? Two oxygen in the left side and three oxygen in the right side. So it's not balanced. So let's see how we can balance it. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put each of the elements underneath and the number of them. B4 is balanced, right? So one carbon, four hydrogen, two oxygen. And in the right side, one carbon, two hydrogen. Whenever, guys, you have two oxygen in the right side, only oxygen, okay? This goes for oxygen. And this is only for combustion reactions. Try to, to put ox two oxygen separately. Okay, so I just put these two oxygen here and I put this oxygen in this compound here. So I have two oxygen in CO2 and one oxygen in H2O. So again, if you have oxygen in two compounds, try to separate, put them separately. This way is easier to balance, okay? So let's start. Which one we should start do you think? with carbon, right, with a non-metal. Hydrogen and oxygen always last. So I'm gonna first, uh, I'm gonna first, so I'm gonna first start with carbon. So carbon is balanced, right? So we don't start, touch it first, okay? So let's do hydrogen. So hydrogen is four here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna multiply the hydrogen by two, then, I'm gonna put these two here, right? I'm gonna put these two here. So we have also two oxygen. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna multiply also this oxygen by two because it's one oxygen, right? These two belongs also to this oxygen. So it's gonna be two. Let's see here. Okay, I have four hydrogen here, four hydrogen here, right? Four hydrogen here, four hydrogen here, two oxygen here. But I have here four oxygen, right? But two oxygen here. So I'm gonna multiply these by two. So then I have a balanced chemical reaction. I'm gonna put these numbers in front of each compound, okay? 
This is a balance, so recheck. I have one carbon here in the left side, one carbon in the right side, four hydrogen in the left side, four hydrogen in the right side, four oxygen in the left side, and four oxygen is in the right side. So it's balanced now. So now I want you to pause here and try to pause these chemical reactions. Okay, guys. This uh, this reaction is uh, this reaction is balanced because I have two sodium in the each side one carbon in each side and three oxygen in each side so you don't need to do further action and whenever you have one guys here in front you know they don't usually put the one so when you see they don't put here anything it means it's one okay so what about the second one guys so I should balance basically and this is the answer for it make sure always recheck which one do you think in the second one I should balance first? So magnesium is already balanced, so we should start with chlorine and then hydrogen. 